Had we always lived as we do now, some major steps wouldn't have been made because we would have been sitting still. At school, sitting still meant we were paying attention. At the dinner table, sitting up straight was a must. Fidgety Philip was to remind us that all hell breaks loose if we don't. As a rule, suppression of movement meant and means discipline. Today, sitting still is considered to be unhealthy, and yet we're sitting almost constantly, so we become lazy and fat, and so it would seem rather stupid. Wir haben herausgefunden, dass Muskelaktivität über eine Erhöhung des Stoffwechsels dementsprechend eine positive Stimulation der Arbeitsleistung des Gehirns, unserer Denkfabrik quasi generiert. Und genau das ist, was man erreichen möchte, eine positive, unmerkliche, energetisch nicht sehr aufwendige Stimulation des Gehirns. However, a modern world offers all kinds of comforts and our ancient instinct tells us to save our energy for emergencies. So we use lazy ways to get around. A study by the German statutory health insurer, the Techniker Krankenkasse, found that people move a mere 30 minutes a day. Our work environment keeps us immobile too. Computers have us glued to screens. 75% of working people in Germany suffer from back pain. The number of long-term ailments is growing steadily. Today, every employee in Germany is on sick leave for an average of three weeks per year. For years now, the German sport university Cologne has been researching ways to counteract the lack of movement in our offices. Based on two preceding studies, the latest research has analyzed in depth how we move in our work environment. Sensors and infrared cameras recorded what we do while we sit. In addition, the oxygen saturation in certain groups of muscles was monitored. The result was clear. Office chairs, which allow a greater range of movement while sitting, stimulate the muscles in the lumbar region to a much higher degree. The important group of muscles alters from contraction to relaxation. The entire metabolic process is stimulated. Das gemeinsame Fazit aller drei Studien ist, mehr Bewegung heißt mehr Aktivität des Stoffwechsels und das fördert die Gesundheit. In close collaboration with the German Sport University Cologne, Wilkhan makes use of this scientific research and creates chairs that allow a maximum range of movement in each direction, while sitting. The new model, called AT, provides seamless transitions from sitting to standing, ideal for height-adjustable tables. This completes Wilkhan's product range of free-to-move office chairs. So that we're sure to take the next steps in our evolution, even though we're sitting down. Wilkan, the dynamics of sitting.